Learn with Eddie. Hi, Eddie. <laughs> Finally, we're going on a trip. Is your bag ready? <laughs> Great. And did you remember to bring the square wrist watch? <laughs> but Eddie, that's an alarm clock. Oh. Plus it's round, not square. Have you forgotten the geometric shapes? <laughs> I think it's best if we have a little revision. What do you think? <laughs> that way we can also show our friends. You up for it guys? <laughs> Let us know in the comments what geometric shapes you know, and we'll show Eddie. Hey, hey. Come on, Eddie. How about we start with the triangle, the one with the least side. Would you know how to count them? Exactly. It's got three <laughs> sides. One, two, and three. And all three are linked by three vertices, these here. Uh -huh. That's how triangles are. Oh. I'm sure you know many things that are triangle shaped. Mm. That's it, Eddie. Pyramids are triangle shaped. <laughs> just like your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> or a slice of pizza. This one looks delicious. And it's got tomatoes. What color shall we paint them? <laughs> Red, exactly. And the cheese? Yellow! Very good! Come on! Only one left! And the rim of the pizza? Brown! Perfect! You're a total expert chef! <laughs> but how about we leave the kitchen and go back to geometry? On to the next shapes. The square and the rectangle. How many sides do they have? Uh -huh. You're right, Eddie. They both have four sides. But do you know how to tell them apart? Eesh. Don't worry, it's very easy. Square sides are all the same. Oh. See? On the other hand, the rectangle has two sides which are the same length and the other two which are a different length. Did you get it? <laughs> Let's see. Name something that's rectangular. Uh -huh. That's it! <laughs> a keyboard is rectangular because it has two sides which are the same and the other two have different lengths. And something that has four equal sides? <laughs> well done, Eddie! The dice in board games have four equal sides. And speaking of games, chess boards are square shaped. In fact, they have squares painted all over them. They're white and... Ha ha ha! Exactly, Eddie. Black. And another game to play with your friends, for example... Football. Uh -huh. Football fields are rectangular in shape. And do you know what color... That's it! They're green, because they're covered in grass. You're on a roll today, Eddie. <laughs> I'm sure you know this one, the circle. <laughs> Great, and how many sides does it have? <laughs> Got you. Circles don't have sides, uh -huh. just a circumference. See? <laughs> okay then, can you name something that's circle shaped? Always thinking about food, <laughs> Eddie. <laughs> You're right. Donuts are circular. And do you know what the biggest circle in the world is? Mm -hmm. Our world, Earth. Uh -huh. It's a huge circle with oceans that are blue and continents that are green. Well done, Eddie. I'm giving you an A plus in geometry. <laughs> Although today we only learn about basic geometric shapes, uh -huh. next day we can learn about asymmetric polygons. Ha ha ha, don't worry Eddie, we'll learn about it with our friends.
Hi, Eddie. Why are you dressed like a construction worker? Do you want to build something? A robot? That sounds very complicated. <laughs> you've become a true scientist since you've been doing experiments. Well, we could give it a go. Would you guys like to build a robot with Eddie? Maybe we could use recycled stuff. Do you have any ideas? Please leave them in the comments. And in the meantime, Professor Eddie, what do you say we draw some blueprints and color them in? <laughs> this way, we can get an idea of what parts we'll need. We can design it like this, for example. <laughs> we start off with the head. Now the body. And... Done! Hmm. What do you think? Oh, you're right! Sorry, I forgot about the other leg. Here we go, how about now? <laughs> Great! Let's color it in then. Robots are usually made out of metal parts. Uh -huh. That's it, Teddy. Metal is usually gray. Hmm, but we don't have gray. I have a better idea, Eddie. The metal that makes up our robot can be multicolored. <laughs> For instance, what color would you like for the body? Purple! We do have that one! I have to say, it really suits our robot! Oh, it looks like the legs and arms are still blank! Should we use any other colors? What do you say? Yellow! Great choice, Eddie! It's the color of gold! It's as if our robot had gold legs and arms. Can you imagine? <laughs> I was just thinking we could use a color similar to gold for the head. Hmm. Uh -huh. You've read my mind. <laughs> we'll color it orange. As if the head were bronze, which is an orange-brown metal. Perfect! It's looking great. <laughs> we're almost done, Eddie, look. With these ears and antenna, the robot will be able to hear and receive radio signals. Oh. Can you think of any fitting color? Uh -huh. Blue? Yes, well thought! It's a color that goes great with orange, see? Almost done, Eddie! <laughs> but the most important part is still missing. Bringing it to life! <laughs> and we'll do that with the eyes, mouth and heart that we've given it. <laughs> You're absolutely certain, Eddie. Pink! It works! We did it, Eddie! We're geniuses! Hehehe <laughs>